All right, let's get it, 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 let's get it. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking in for a daily Move Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. Quoting this, but April 10th, 2024, Wednesday after, a couple days after actually, it's, being, it's become official. No more Caitlin Clark in the Iowa jersey. And, and the, the funny thing is, uh, actually, this past, I believe it got like broke the record for views again, watching her. And a, a lot of people are talking about how a lot of people are, you know, now tuning into women's college basketball, which I do not agree with. I believe a lot of people are tuning in to Caitlin Clark. They're not necessarily watching women's basketball. In fact, I remember watching the game this past Sunday. I was sitting next, I was at a bar, sports bar, watching it next to a, a diehard Iowa fan. And she was talking about the effect that Caitlin Clark had on the community. And, you know, just seeing her do her thing and seeing that that last ride off into the sunset. I, in my personal opinion, I don't think she's gonna get this kind of attention in the W, get this kind of attention in the WNBA because I don't like the way the league is set up from a corporate standpoint. I don't think they're, I just don't think they're moving in the right direction, but that's just my opinion. But anyway, seeing her inspired me to create a brand new series on this podcast. And I may do it once a month, once a week, once every two weeks, whatever it is. But just seeing her do her thing, she inspired me to talk about my top five, all right? Top five college hometown heroes, all right? Top five. And just so we're clear, in order for you to make this top five list, you had to have been a top high school recruit and chose to stay in your community, st chose to stay in your home hometown to play college ball. And I have my top five. And actually, if you're, if you're curious and jumping or if you're interested, I always, always love to have conversations like this about what your top five would be. But just seeing her do her thing in her hometown is what made that entire run special. The past two years, seeing her on the national scene, and that's what inspired today's Move Swiftly Thought. That's what inspired today's new series. This is going to be the beginning, the debut of a brand new series in which I'm going to start doing regularly again. I don't know whether it's going to be bi-weekly, monthly, weekly, whatever it is. We'll consider, you know, again, a lot of the stuff I do here, the majority of the stuff I do here is impromptu speak, and I just go at it. Turn on a camera and go at it, right? So, as far as my top five college hometown heroes that's what we're going to talk title this list all right off jump off jump off rip my man sean merriman sean merriman all right he played at the university of maryland and i remember he came onto my he came into my world when i was just a young and they, they had this, this show called high school sports show where sean merriman he played at douglas grew up in the dmv played at douglas high school and then went on to play at maryland and this was the time where i was finding my own as a football player and as a linebacker which was my identity and, and as, as a kid growing up and Sean Merriman was the guy. He was the guy. And I remember going to camps and, you know, talking to, I believe his coach, his name was Coach Seamerson. And talking to Coach Seamerson, I was with the linebackers crew and we were talking about what he used to do and all that. So he really, he was that first one on that list in terms of that hometown hero. And then from there, I get to high school. I get to excel as a linebacker. I am, you know, the start linebacker, first team WCAC, the whole thing. And then the next player that makes this list is none other than Reggie Bush. All right, Reggie Bush was the guy. I mean, when it comes to just that college athlete who stayed in his hometown and created the world attention, Reggie Bush out of USC, University of Southern California, let me tell you, because at that point when he came onto the national scene, I was around, I believe I was either a sophomore or junior in high school, and my goal was to start to play at the collegiate level. And at the time, I only played one position. I was only a linebacker. And knowing what I had to compete against, knowing, you know, seeing that guy on national TV, it gave me some perspective in regards to this is what I'm going to have to deal with. This is how good I'm going to have to be. This is, again, these are all things. And this is somebody who's playing, doing his thing all the way in, in uh, Southern California, right? So I get to college. So we got Sean Merriman. We got Rich Bush. Third on this list, third on this list is none other than my guy Tim Tebow. You heard it right. Tim Tebow. Nothing. It has very little. Keep in mind, everyone on this list, 
the only one that really made a huge splash at the professional level is Sean Merriman. But Tim Tebow makes the top, makes this list because he was the first one that introduced a relationship to God. All right. And he, he was God sent in terms of this is, could be a football player. Football players do not have to be assholes. They can be strong believers. They can boldly wear their faith on their chest. They can talk about their faith. They can be bold in terms of how they serve their God and understand the college experience for me was a different one. I was on three different campuses on in three years. All right, three different Garza Newman, Montgomery College, and Sony Brook University. Sony Brook was the third campus I was on for three different years. That's three different types of person, three three different types of three different types of groups of people, three different campuses in which I've had sex with three di like three different types of women and things like that like understand the college experience with me I was dealing with I was doing a lot of fling I was I wasn't gonna say it like this <laughs> I wasn't necessarily doing the work of God I wasn't necessarily living a godly life all right during those you know three years and then you know Tim Tebow it's between Tim Tebow and my fourth, the fourth person, the fourth person on the list is Skylar Diggins. All right, when she came into my world, right when she made that national scene, when she made headlines, was when um when I was dealing with when I learned the importance of having a significant other. When I learned the importance of okay, you gotta find people that match well with you. So between Tebow and Skylar Diggins, those are the those are the two that made the college experience for me a completely different experience because I saw what was out there. I saw what the possibilities were. And, you know, I, I always jokingly now say to myself, you know, if I, Skylar Dickens is one of those celebrities that I would never actually want to meet in person because in my mind, she was so perfect in my mind that there's no way she's ever going to measure up to my expectations of her. It's almost like I've heard female reporters talk about how, you know, the idea of meeting Michael Jordan was something that they never wanted to do. Like even if he was in the same, even if the opportunity came up for them to meet Michael Jordan, they would not meet him because he was so perfect in their head that they're never, he's never going to live up to the expectation. It's the same way I feel about Skylar Diggins. It's like, yo, she's never ever going to live up to that expectation and I'm going to be let down because she was that big of a celebrity in terms of how how things were shaping out for me. You know, she's my age, so how things were shaping out for me in my college experience. So between Tebow and Skylar Diggins, both stayed home, both became like iconic figures in their hometown. And you know, they, there's something special about creating that kind of presence in your hometown. There's something beautiful about that. And you know, finally, the one we just saw, the one that inspired the list, you know, <laughs> just doing it. You know, I, I, I think, in my honest opinion, when it comes to how many views the women's basketball game has got has been because of her because we've seen a young girl classy not tatted up not a bunch of weave not a bunch of just you know just just off-putting stuff and it made people fall in love with the way she played the game and me personally it created dad goals right <laughs> it created dad goals it went from Skylar Dickens to now it's like hey now I want to meet someone and let's go create another Caitlin Clark. Let's go create another Caitlin Clark. And, you know, watching her dad, you know, be, you know, bracing on the sideline, watching her do her thing and the whole, the whole night. I just love the whole thing. So that's my top five. <laughs> Recap is Sean Merriman, Reggie Bush, Tim Tebow, Skylar Diggins, and Caitlin Clark in terms of my five college hometown heroes. Very curious about what yours would be. Or if you have a list then you know like i said i'll be i'm thinking now i'm going to create a series in which we do different topics so if you have any topics that you want me to talk about feel free to hit the dms or hit the comments and i'll and, and we'll talk about it right here right main website to check out the deep rent all my work make that's m-a-k-e-y-a-m-o-v-e.com one stop shop for all your teamwork and your self development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only move swiftly speaker, checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.